here's our circle. It's got a regular hexagon inside it of such a size that the corners all touch the edge of the circle. We've also got a larger hexagon on the outside so that the circle touches the middle of each edge of that larger hexagon. Now, Using this diagram and the perimeters of the hexagons, we are going to show that pi is between three and two root three. We can see quite quickly that the perimeter of the circle must lie in between the perimeters of the two hexagons. So let's start by finding the perimeter of the smaller hexagon. We're going to do that by adding these lines on here to create a triangle in the hexagon where these lines are radii. So let's call that R. Now, as this is a regular hexagon, these triangles are going to be equilateral triangles, all 60 degrees, all sides the same. So that tells us that the edge of the hexagon is also R. There are six sides of the hexagon, so the perimeter of the small hexagon must be 6R. We're now going to find the perimeter of the larger hexagon. This is a little bit trickier, but it's not too bad. And we're going to do it by again drawing in lines from the centre of our diagram. So we're going to have one line goes from the centre out to the corner of the hexagon, and another one coming in at a right angle to the edge of the hexagon, and this is the radius. Yeah, it's reaching the edge of the circle there. So we're going to label that one R as well. As this is again a regular hexagon, this triangle is reaching the edge halfway along and it's going to be a right angle to it. It's going to be half of one of these equilateral triangles from before, hence we're going to have our 30 degrees there. We're going to use this to then find x, the opposite side of the triangle. And to do that we can use some trigonometry and we know that tan is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, so tan 30 is equal to x over r, which means that x must be equal to r tan 30, or tan 30 is 1 over root 3. So x is equal to r over root 3. As x is half of one side of the hexagon, there must be 12 of them to make the full hexagon, so the perimeter is going to equal 12 r over root 3, which simplifies to 4 root 3 times r. So we've got our hexagon perimeters, and we know from before that the circumference of the circle must lie between these. Now the circumference of a circle of radius r is going to equal 2 pi r. So 2 pi r must lie between 6r for the smaller hexagon and 4 root 3r for the larger hexagon. We can then divide each term by r, divide each term by 2, and we get that pi lies between 3 and 2 root 3 as required. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.